Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain with the PCM Tech Help Show. That's right, I'm going to be changing the name here soon. I do have the domain park, that's PCMTechHelp.com. Uh, we're going to migrate to that eventually into the future, but uh, the old domain will always work. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to update your Windows updates so that they don't always annoy the crap out of you. Uh, can I say crap? That's right, it's YouTube. Free speech. Don't question it. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, set it so it actually kind of fits your needs best. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is go down to the Start Window button and select it and type in Windows Update. And then on the Programs list, Windows Update will show up. Go ahead and select that. And you'll be greeted with the Windows Update window. Windows Update window. I know, a little redundant. But on the left-hand side, what we really want to do is select Change Settings. Now, at this point, we can customize how Windows decides to do its updates. Personally, this is how I like to have mine set. I like Windows to go ahead and download them in the background because I have a lot of bandwidth, but I don't want it to decide that it's just going to install them while I'm running programs. Now, I was talking to another YouTube member about this uh, yesterday, and uh, I recommended that he do this because he said that the Windows updates slowed down his computer dramatically, and it can also sometimes cause a blue screen of death. And that is true. It kind of depends on what you have running in the background. So for... So for important updates, what we're going to do is ignore the phone in the back. We're going to actually say download updates and let me choose whether to install them. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. You can have it install updates automatically or check for updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. If you don't want it chewing up your bandwidth in the background, or you can have it never check. Of course, never check is usually not a good idea. So when you're done with that, uh, you can basically click OK, and then the next time it finds updates, it'll download them automatically, but it will not install them. And, uh, and like I said, Windows updates can chew up a lot of computer resources. So it's always a good idea, in my opinion, to leave this in this category. Because at least then you're notified about them. They're there to install, run the installation, walk away. You may even want to consider disabling your antivirus when you undo the installation. But then you can install and walk away and be good to go. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and thumbs up if you liked it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. That's at Craig Chamberlain. That's me personally. You can follow the company at PC Michiana. Don't worry, that will switch to PCM Tech Help soon. Um, also, we're going to uh, keep our uh, Facebook page going. That's uh, PC Michiana Tech Help Show at Facebook. So uh, this transition will take place. It's just going to take a little bit of time because it's kind of tough to just all of a sudden change your brand. So thanks again and stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come.